Our second competitor this evening is Karine Nordin from the Department of Communication Studies. Her presentation is entitled, Bruises Without a Name, College Student Perceptions of Domestic Violence Terminology. I want to start off by asking everyone to close your eyes. I want you to think of the last 10 college students you interacted with. I want you to picture their names, their personalities, think of their faces. Statistically, seven of those students, seven of your students, are victims of domestic violence. Nationally, the Coalition Against Domestic Violence estimates that the amount of college students who are victims is around 43%. But here at the University of Alabama, that number is much higher. Research done by Dr. Trisha Witte estimates that between 70 and 80% of University of Alabama students have been victims of domestic violence. Unfortunately, the only people more unaware of this violence epidemic than we are are the students themselves. 60% of victims of domestic violence said they didn't know at the time that the relationship they were in was abusive. But why? Why don't college students understand what domestic violence is? My research poses one answer to that question, an answer that's quite literally never been investigated before. Terminology. When college students experience violence in their relationships, what do we call it? We could call it domestic violence, but domestic seems to imply living together, and most college students don't. We could call it intimate partner violence, but that's a research term which most college students don't understand. We could call it dating abuse, but what if they're not dating? What if it's one of those infamous college flings? When we don't have a name for something, we treat it like it doesn't exist. But my research is going to find a name. I give students vignettes, small stories of domestic violence, and then I ask them, what would you call it? I have them rate terms like domestic violence or relationship abuse on a scale of one to seven of how comfortable they are with that term. By the end of my research, I will know what our college students call domestic violence, and we can start using that term to improve awareness campaigns and prevention materials. We can use it to stop domestic violence here at the University of Alabama. I'll leave you with this. Sexual assault used to be an invisible epidemic, but we brought it into the spotlight and saved countless students. Domestic violence is the next hidden demon, and the only way to pry our college students from his terrifying grasp is to finally give that problem a name. Thank you. I think it went really well. I was really pleased. I was nervous for the first like four or five seconds and then as, so as soon as it clicked in my head that this was like my passion and like my life's work then I was like okay like just talk. <laughs>